Rock this morning, more than 160 people are reported killed in two bombings in Baghdad, many of them children, and many more are wounded. NBC's Lucy Kafanov is monitoring the situation from our bureau in London. Lucy, what can you tell us about what happened? Eamon, not a quiet week at all. We were talking about the attacks in Istanbul, then Bangladesh. Now this, two separate bombings, as you say, in Baghdad, one in a predominantly Shia area. The other much bigger attack was in the Karada neighborhood, and that's the one that I want to focus on. This is a fairly upscale area. I used to stay in a house there when I worked in Iraq. Police say that a suicide bomber detonated a truck of explosives outside of a busy shopping center. As you know, malls in Iraq are just as popular as they are in America, and this was right after midnight, which meant that families were out and about. They were breaking their Ramadan fast. It would have been incredibly busy at this time. We are hearing that among the victims, at least 15 children, 10 women, those numbers unfortunately likely to rise. Eyewitnesses saying dozens of people burned to death or suffocated. A gruesome scene. And just to give you a sense of the scale of this devastation, at dawn this morning, Iraqi firefighters, as I think you can see in the video there, were still trying, struggling to extinguish the blazes as rescue workers were pulling bodies from the buildings, ambulances rushing by, a very chaotic scene, and one that unfortunately has become all too familiar in Iraq. You know, one thing that struck me in having worked there is just how much of a new sort of twisted normal this has become. Iraqi friends of mine say that they now drive with the windows down in their car because if there's a blast, at least they're not going to get shards of glass in their face. But an attack on this scale obviously is not something that anyone should ever have to get used to, and we are now seeing great growing anger at the government. Uh, Iraqi Prime Minister Haider al-Abadi visiting that blast site today only to find his convoy surrounded by an angry crowd. People were calling him a thief. They started throwing rocks and shoes. And the lack of security, obviously, one of the biggest issues in Iraq, along with corruption. And of course, as Iraqi forces continue to push further into ISIS territory, we are unfortunately likely to see this group uh, lashing out with attacks like this one. Amen. All right, NBC's Lucy Kafano for us in London. I want